70 years pass since Rus relieved itself of the Tatar yoke. Internal arguments quietened in the country too. A time of building and waiting has come. The state got an opportunity to overcome the military, technical, and cultural lag with the European nations. The Tsar Rus Ivan the Terrible invited engineers, scientists, and artists to the country. The majority of them was going to Moscow via the Baltic cities of the German Livonian order. However, the government of the order feared strengthening of Russia, and hindered the movement of the specialists. They retorted to arrests and even executions. Livonia remained an obstacle for the Russian trade too, an absence of its own ports at the Baltic Sea made Moscow dependent on the whims of the German politics. In 1558, wishing to overcome the Livonian obstacle, Ivan the Terrible moved his troops to the Baltics. Nobody could predict that the war which would be called the Livonian War, would last for 25 years, and set Russia against the largest states in Europe. So the Polish king has finally admitted his inability to fight the Prussian and Lithuanian pagans. It's time for us to make our move, he and the Pope. Granted us their approval for a crusade. We can finally anchor our foothold in the rich Baltic region. Should we dispatch the army? No, I have other plans. His Holiness the Pope Honorius III and Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II both gave their blessings to launch this crusade. Even the Polish let go of their reluctance to accept German they intervention. They see the Teutonic Knights as their last resort. Now that they have lost battle against the pagans, we will indulge them. As it is beneficial for us all to Christianize the Prussians and Lithuanians. How should we do this Grand Master? We will build a series of castles around the Vistula River. Then start slowly raiding the pagan lands. Our forces are ready to make their move, we will purge the earth from the scorch of paganism. Good. I just received the signed treaty with the Polish king. He will not interfere and we are free to attack. I Conrad von Landsberg, envoy of the Grand Master of the Teutonic Order, pledge not to set foot again in this castle until I baptize or slay the last of the heathen. I Hermann von Salza. Grand Master of the Teutonic Order. Announce the start of the Prussian Crusade. Move to their lands. Force them to convert. Anyone who resists should be killed. Any reluctant village should be burned and razed to the ground.
The Teutonic Order started its campaign by establishing a network of wooden castles which formed a western ring around Prussia. They raided the villages and the lands of the natives and proceeded to the methodical destruction of their holy trees. The Prussian natives had Germanic and Celtic deities. They worshipped elements of nature, like the sky or trees. They had particular sacred trees called Ermensil. Often giant old oak trees which lived for centuries. The Teutonic Order burned or cut these trees to put an end to this practice. Those who refuse to baptize will burn in hell. Those who refuse to baptize will burn in hell. With the Teutonic Order getting deeper and deeper into their lands, the native Prussian tribes revolted. We need every available man! Every Christian settler must be slain! They gathered their forces throughout the country and attacked in small groups. They returned the favor to the Crusaders by raiding the Christian settled villages, burning the new established churches and trying to cut military and civilian supplies. The Pomasanian tribes and others have agreed to recruit every capable man or boy to protect our lands. We shall march against the Crusaders and drive them out of our territory. Ready up! <laughs> the Palmazanian tribes are gathering thousands of forces. Your Highness, I heard you can spare some troops to join us in our struggle against the infidel. What do you think? I think Frederick sent you enough. Our mighty heavy cavalry is enough to crush any mass of infantry. Exactly. But support troops such as crossbowmen are also important. I heard you gathered 10,000 men. To my knowledge these are more than enough. Nevertheless, if they lack bravery I understand your concern. Excuse me Your Highness, you're right. It appears I made a mistake asking for your assistance.
do not engage the heavy cavalry until the last moment. Let these barbarians charge first and lose momentum, soften them up with arrows and bolts, then send the heavy knights to rout them. Soften them up with arrows. Now send the heavy knights. 